Hello everybody and welcome. I am the Beta Plan and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the Lord of the Kings mod installed. Now uh, for once I know how to name my episode before I start it because normally I tend to name it after the events that happen within the episode. But this time, well, I have been honored by the main mod maker to, well, grace my little channel and I have been talking to him on Discord. Now, if you want to know a few things about the mods, there is a link down in the doobly-doo of this video for to go to the Discord channel. But otherwise, yes, I've been talking there as well as, well, Crispian Jones directly. And apparently I had either missed some law. And in order to do right by that, I give you hereby the law. In the beginning, there was only the one. The first. The elder. The first was all. Everything. Some can say it was perfectly balanced. The light, the dark, and all in between. The Elder created the lands, the seas, and the skies. To use its creations, it created beasts. To care for these creations, it created its caretakers, the Eldari, the Elders first. They are now known as the Elves. Not as the Elves known today, but what the mankind would call angels, or angelf. The first gave his creations free will, emotion and souls. A task that required a great sacrifice. For he, the first, had to give a piece of himself. And upon this sacrifice, the first became the free. Splitting into the light which encompassed compassion, justice, kindness and warmth. The dark, composed out of anger, hatred, pain and coldness. And the natural world, composed of the beasts, the lands, the seas and all else. So the first became the free. Each an aspect of the first, and gods in their own right. These gods had the power of their own aspect. The Lidari, the High Elves or Light Elves, follow the Light. The Shadari or Shadow Elves became attuned to the Dark and therefore instilled with in them the power of deception and pain. And the Wudari sought peace and see to a peaceful life within the natural world. The Beastkin all of the beasts, were created to be guardians protectors of their species, even the lesser forms of wild animals. The Vulcan are the embodiment of light, the Forsaken are the embodiment of darkness, and the Fae are the embodiment of nature, Gaia, or the natural world. Now there are more species within Lord of the Kings, but they have different origins. For instance, the Greenskins are the diluted blood of Forsaken and the other elements, like Elves and Fae, as they were created to serve the Forsaken as slaves, soldiers, or for Bloodsport. A greed and ambition, sorry, as greed and ambition got the better of their masters, they would sell these slaves to the highest bidder or force them to fight in the pits for gladiatorial combat and entertainment. Given their strength after generations of servitude and labor and war, Orkin led a rebellion and attempted to unite the Greenskins. Many joined across the world in rebellion, hiding and fighting in any way they could. And as time grew, new races came into being. Oh, a rare bird was born, like a dwarf or dwarf and an elkin being the children of the unification of either orc, elf or dwarf. The dark dwarves, which were a mix of dwarf or a dark race. And the goblets, which, well, when, when some, who themselves are the creations of halflings and orcs combined, and can with other races create imps. And then the word of Forsaken, who in, were enthralled with the elven beauty and led to tiefling race. The last, not to forget to mention, are the trolls, a combination of ogre and orc blood. This is the origin of the races of the Lord of the Kings mod. 
Now that does lead me to some interesting elements, because if I look at the cultures, and Goblin coming from Halvland plus Orc, I'm like a little bit, but Orcs are over here, and Gobkin are everywhere, except near Halvling. Like, they're not even close to, well, um, excuse me, there's a little bit of Halvling over here. But it, it, it's noticeable to me, like, I, if that were true, I would say m between Norks and Halvling here, you would have a little strip of Gobkin. But then again, I assume that, that would make Gopkin a little too localized and perhaps not um, present in enough, uh, a big enough range of areas for that to be interesting. So I guess that that was done for that reason. But it does lead to do some interesting things like, why did some people migrate that way? But, alright. As for our current situation, Kraken's Cove is still fighting over here. Uh, and is fighting for their... Uh, Whoa! That is interesting. By the way, uh, yeah, I one of my mods. Holy heck! Their daddy had big brains and they inherited that. Uh, there was probably was a problem with a mod of my own, uh, or not of my own making, but that I had implemented as well, which is called the full screen barbershop, because it caused uh, these uh, fae ladies to lack clothing, but they are now back in because I. Uh, said no to the mod. So that is a little bit of an interesting fact to note. Apparently there is a little bit of a mismatch there. Which is also why our elves have become very small because now if I go into my screen and I go into lowborns I should have done this ahead of time by the way. My apologies. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo, because I checked it but then apparently it forgot this again. You know how that goes. And gender mill. There are now some Eldari uh, sorry, Shadari again that are really tall. Like in the beginning we had. So I think there is a little mix up over there. By the way, thanks for everybody with all the tips. Uh, very valid tips. Like, hey, why don't you abduct lower uh, tier people? Like we've been abducting a lot of highborns. Uh, I don't know, makes it much easier. And then you can also mix those bloods. Absolutely true. No doubt about that. But... Uh, I simply wanted to have, to have a little bit of a interesting thing. It's the beta plan. I tried to do it with a interesting backstory, so we only abducted the ones that we find, well, eligible to mix with our bloodline. Speaking of um, mixing things eligible with our bloodline, after my son died, of course, the first best thing that a father can do is sleep with his lover. Former wife. <coughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're trying to seduce her. Oh, well... <laughs> Time to go. And uh, by the way, some people suggested, hey, why don't you get some orcs? Why don't you abduct them or trolls or ogres to lead in the, in the line of battlefield? Good idea. We'll get on that. We'll get on that as uh, when we get to it. But right now, we can declare a war. Holy War for County. And let me know in the comments if this is the type of level of background music you want. I actually, for this particular war, I stopped the video and re-recorded. So if you see a little skip, that's for, the, for that or for. Because I had some complaints from people, valid complaints, mind you, that, um, well, the music, the combat music is super loud, and it is, but I can't really stop that. That is something that Paradox has done. There, uh, I still can't do this. Somebody told me that you, with control click you could do all of them, but I don't see it working. Uh, if that particular person would like to help me again, I would love it. But uh, yeah, that particular track is just incredibly loud. It is like triple the amount of sound that the rest of the game produces, which is... Um, yeah, well, kind of frustrating for me as a YouTuber, because... Oh, bloody heck. Well... Can't kill his son. That is annoying, because we wanted that in order to take revenge. Um, and yes, we are, we, we're, we're seducing her, so well, let's see how uh, that's going on after all. Huh? My son died. I'm in pain. Her husband died, which was my son, so she is in pain. We, we, we will find uh, comfort in each other's arms. But yeah, let's claim this land before some of the norks here do, and bother us again, because, uh, well, I've had enough, but after that I really want some peace, because I really want this troop count to increase drastically. Uh, Pilot's not even a challenge, because I'm a schemer, I can do immediately do that. And we have another daughter! Uh, I will not legitimize her. 
Because unlike her sister, she doesn't have any good traits. So, and my wife was already annoyed with me. She's still not very annoyed, with, uh, happy with me, but at least I didn't legitimize you as another bastard. 79 people against 2,000. That, that, that's... Sure. Ooh, Berserker. Negotiate release. Demand conversion recruit. There you go. And you're even virtuous for us, because you're callous. I'll work out. I will gladly take that. Same for you. Negotiate release and recruit to demand conversion. There we go. We now have a orc on our side again. A, uh, sorry, a nork. I keep doing that. Probably will do so for some time because it's just so uh, ingrained into my system. But uh, yeah, with the uh, I had some mod issue. The, the mod issue that I had um, uh, that I I, I uh, showed off is that we I had a problem probably and I, because I, I said it was, but I'm not sure because I had three mods active, which was the rice mod, the uh, the the full screen barbershop, and another one that I, I can't for the life think of me right now, which is why I'm stuttering so much. So let me just continue on with here. I, uh, now that it is removed, we can once again uh, maybe get those very tall Shadaris back in and possibly breed a, a little bit, um, bit uh, well, our race's tallness again. Because I kind of like that. But uh, yeah, we lost it. But there we go. We and we claimed that. Doing doing pretty good. We could claim Visby, but once again, uh, he, well, he doesn't have a lot of troops, but... I also don't want a rebellion. We're good for now. Oh, map surroundings, or I could do it myself. 10% chance I gain ill. How stressed am I? I? I can handle that. There you go, map surroundings. Um, yeah, I'm considering. Getting Visby, yeah, let's do it before somebody else picks this up. I just don't want any more Norks uh, to spread, or any other culture for that matter. We own uh, this territory, this Frost Forge. It's ours. And by the way, yeah, off camera I did claim Blacklight and then usurped it and destroyed the title because I didn't want my realm to split into two. Should I get another spare of a son? So that's why that hasn't happened yet. But there you go. We have a dwarf. And the Dark Dwarf is not as bad in combat as us. Oh, well, it's another daughter. May you go strong and wise, my daughter. Uh, she probably wants to learn, because I think I've learned... Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? Fortune builders tend to like to learn. You will never be forgotten, old friend. Hello? Who in the heck are thou? Thou art an ally, apparently, of Visby. Oh, that is interesting, because I have the, the the landed penalty, but apparently I still kick their arses. Interesting. Uh, you're sure we'll do study habits. Let's see what we have here. You're not that good, but I got apparently several people. But I think these are still my highborn ladies. Yep, they are. That we've also captured. Unfortunately... The one that we have as the youngest, 12, is already a bloodline that we have. Oh, sorry, within our heir. Speaking of which, we may want to get something for our granddaughter. Oh, no, she's 15. She still has some time. Um, oh, my, with the death of my acquaintance. Died on suspicious circumstances. I think my wife did not want me to have yet another lover. Uh, uh, 75 gold? Yeah, good. And let's ransom you for 50 only. Oh. Oh, I thought he would be worth more. Now we spend no money on nothing. That is unfortunate. That's, that's really annoying. Oh well, uh, what, what happened happened. Mm, do do do. By the way, I 
I gain obese? I didn't attend the feast. Why did I gain obese? You're not that good. You're pretty good. That's a decent commander. I'll take you. Uh, but yeah, that's a little annoying. And we have no more schemes, so we should really look into getting some schemes. This is the youngest girl. We could marry her with my my heir to get the Wudarian. It's only four, year, four years difference. That should be doable. You don't have any children yet. You have a child, but that's a boy. So that's not going to help us much. Uh, three elves. Wood elves. Would like to visit your place. This is already my lover. But unfortunately you can't make much of it. Uh, zero years old. There's a little bit of a big difference. 31 year old with children. Um, 11 year old. Green heart. Do we want to go for her? Here's an intelligent one. Just looking around, shopping for a possible future wife for my heir. This is uh, this is nasty in so many ways, man. I can't. Yeesh! All of you, you're you're once again a genius. That's so good, but you you don't have daughters. That's once again hurt. That, that, that's, this is an incest island, which is nothing new. I mean, we all... You're a genius. You are it. Abduct. I will pay good money, but nobody wants it, for to have more people hire her. She's 13 years old. She's a genius. She's a Wudari. She is the one that we want. That is, uh, we, we'll, we'll pick her. By the way, speaking of uh, elves and stuff, I uh, somebody told me, like, hey, you are aware I hope that there are sand elves. Uh, thank you for noticing, because I didn't realize that before that. But, um, yeah, I don't think they will be a problem. The only sand elf of a special trait is this elf, sand elf. And after that, none, nobody has that trait, so I don't think it works like a bloodline. And speaking to Crispy Jones, the mod maker, uh, he would was talking about the free bloodline, so I don't think this is important for what we are trying to do. You are the other one that we that I'm more than willing to abduct. 1907, a few months from now. I will wait for Gillian Greenheart. That's, that's another one. You are not as important. Uh, we'll wait for those mm, mm, for that abduction scheme, so we have two abduction schemes, and we'll see what we'll do with the third thing. But here we go. Uh, Helgum. No, no, no. There will be no special treatment. Helgum, because I finally got it fixed. Aldari, Shadow, perfect. Uh, people are mismanaged population. It was not because of what I did. Azatru and Norks, still. But culture-wise, you are Shadari. Could I, uh... All for guardianship. Convert culture, convert faith. No, but convert culture will be done. Then let's do culture. Culture is fine by me first. Faith we can always demand. He might even do it right now. I, if, what if I paid you just a tiny little, little, little sum? It's 34 gold. That's not too much. With a huge boost. And now it's... Mm, I gained 65% mm, chance for the conversion. There you go. He is converted. Ooh. Oh, there's a Fireborn. I thought it was a Tiefling. But no, it's a Fireborn. Alright. Well, that's a special trait. Demand conversion. And... Recruit. We got a claim, even. Oh, not on something that is very interesting to us, but whatever. We have him now in our court. 
and call a hunt again, because we apparently have too little money. That happens. Well, all right, we control Godland. Good. Uh, we now have some people that we can ransom. Yeah, her. I am aware. I am aware of these ransoms. Maybe I should do this. Yeah, just ransom him. Oh, another pregnancy from the Wudari mistress. Uh, the point is, we need Wudari. Blood. We don't need the high elven blood, so that's why it's not as interesting anymore. There we go. Gotland also ours. So now we are facing Dark Home, the Wolf Den, and Blood Rain in regards to possibly creating a empire. And I don't think that is anytime soon for us in the cards, because the Wolf Den is absolutely freaking terrifying. With their 9,000 troops, the fact that they are Mork. Is and they have 5,000 men. It's a good thing that we now have 10,000 men at our disposal because that means they will be a little bit terrified, also enough from us that they won't instantly, uh, well, be annoyed, if you will. Why did I give you land? Oh, because you're already heir to something, that's why. Never you mind. That explains that. Um, Raven Tree. We're already trying to abduct you. Green tree. Come on. I'm waiting with my other schemes on you. Uh, let's... Man-at-arms are full, but not the onagers. Let, let's, let's get this done. By the way, because I know everybody wants it, and now because I know, thanks to r no more mod issues, I can summon a succubus without being a problem. She w used to be naked. This is uh, acceptable. And they have a special trait called Succubus with a lot of fertility and uh, lots of uh, evil traits, but uh, she will serve me in death. She becomes a, she's a tiefling as a race, which is a little bit interesting, but we'll demand your conversion. And then we will offer you to him. Just to uh, see if we can make it interesting for him. Oh, he will not accept. Your candidate is lowborn. Yes, I am aware, but it's a succubus. I summoned her through prestige and... Oh, no, you numbnuts. You were a tall guy. You were supposed to be a tall lady. Oh, uh, boy. Back to the succubus. Who would marry her? Shadowkin. Yellow. Matrilineal marriage. Let's get a little... Now, there's not a Shadari blood. I'm not sure if I should have done that. But there we go. We got somebody with Shadowkin. Uh, shadow's kin. It's not Shadowkin. It is Shadow's kin. Mixed with uh, this lady. Trade Succubus. All Shadow Tiefling. Lots of fertility. And she's also start with... Uh, being... Lustful. This one I don't like that much. It's summons a random undead. It could actually bring back our son. I just realized. Let's try this. I don't think this was our son. This is just a really random dude. Uh, you are a ghoul. You have no fertility. You've used boots. You've used prowess. So you're just a good combatant, which is good for us. Certainly. There we go. Lost a lot of a bit of it, but everything works out fine. Um. Uh, we just discovered crop rotation. Arrow buildings. Economical arrow buildings. Nice. Uh, let's go and get demonology. Causes ballet. The jury counties. Let, let's get that first. Uh, but yeah. Development. Unfortunately, it wasn't as great down here below as I had hoped. Or otherwise, I would have moved my capital. But it isn't, that isn't the case. Um... So right now, we still have our one duchy that we hold. We don't have more than this, but we could build here now... Buildings? No, there's manoralism. Still cannot build that. 
Well, at least we're, we're trying at least to, to build up at least a little bit of our holdings. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. At least I feel a little bit safe with 10,000 troops that these guys won't immediately go and tank. tank. Uh, what's going on here? Up to the task. Oh. Uh, she's going to try and improve somebody on my council. Well, you definitely don't need it with 51. That is not as necessary. Yeah, you can try and do Captain Volm. Um, and I think it is time to start... Oh, come on. November. It's September. Okay. Nearly there. Humble. No, let's get the seat full. <laughs> Darn, man. Are you, are you only going to have two traits? Also, you're costing me a lot of stress. In that, in that sense, it would be good for me to just, uh, you know, uh, meet a new lover. Because I'm lustful. That would do, do me good. Now, there we go. Two abduction schemes under the fly, and I will abduct you. I don't know. Yeah, sure. We'll we'll let's get that money in. Ooh, she will be at my mercy. Darn it! That's unfortunate. Well, we need the money in order to get the the, the right abduction, so we'll try again. That is unfortunate. But it happens. Uh, it happens. Uh, I really need a feast. I really need to lose some stress. Another daughter. Sure, the child is mine. Now everyone knows. Yeah, she knows, but... She still has a 95% opinion of me? That's... Oh, no, minus 11. I was already like, wait, how the hell? Yeah, her opinion of me is dropping. Wonder why. Start leading from the rear. Lead from the rear to not get involved in direct and fighting. Oh, I didn't even know that was an option. Don't know if that's the mod or if that is a thing. Oh. Ooh. Boy. Oh, well, 34 is better, actually, than the previous guy. So, sure. Go for it, buddy. New Intrigue perk unlocked. Subtle Desire. There we go. You would like to get Mortal Adoration before my wife starts to plot against me and I die? I like that. I really could use some stress relief. Would be my pleasure. Wait a second. I, didn't I get a message I was obese? Lose weight. Lose weight, but the f I still hear the feast music going, and I do not get a message about, about feasting. That That's somewhat odd. What's going on here, Dark Home? You're fighting the Holy War for the territory of Kirkonus. You want this one. Why did I say Kirkonus? Is it Kokonus? Well, that's how I pronounce it, which is probably butchering it, and I apologize for that. Funny that it's still called Visby. You are aware that this is no longer... Yeah, but it's 250 gold and... <laughs> I'm not spending that on it. Darn it! Another friend dying. Oh, boy. Oh, and I inherited a piece of land. What happened to the previous owner? Died of old age and firm, and she is pregnant, but yeah, that is too late. You're an archbishop, I cannot give you land. Why are you considered lowborn? Oh, that's just weird. 
I apparently uh, did uh, something wrong. Oh, my ghoul can be landed? I didn't realize he could. <laughs> Not sure if I want to, but it's interesting. Galave. I wonder if that... Uh, I should have asked, but I'm, I wonder if that uh, brings about interesting things. Oh, I didn't know where nails were that crazy long. Or didn't notice it, should say. Uh, I'm not really in favor of you. I wouldn't be surprised if you have uh, some some dwarf blood in it in you, but so you know what you you're you're allowed to go there because that is still dark dwarf culture. Let's see what we can do about that. How is it with our faith? The old shadow has spread quite a bit, but it isn't everywhere yet. We are converting there. I think we should start converting more. You even still follow Frost Rune over here. 66% chance to convert. Well, blessed be the first. Which is interesting, because the first, now we know, is the god that actually split into the free of which the dark came. And we adhere to the dark, so... Why do we say, blessed be the first? It's a little bit of an oversight, in my, uh, possibly. Uh, you are the backup mm, wife. Not as interested in you, but still. Because you are, at least, Herculean, and you are a genius. Well... Mm, Wait for that chance, and then we'll end the episode. Because, of course, we, we did take a little longer. Come on, let's try it again. Gosh darn it. I think this is the last time we can do it with her before she gets married. April. Uh, it might already go wrong, but we'll, we'll have to try. And otherwise, I might just murder this dude. We'll, s we'll look into that in the next episode. I'm sorry this episode was a little bit less gameplay and more about lore. But on the other hand, it was about lore, which is awesome. So, <laughs> I say thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.